confirm the teams again. The news this morning, Australia have won the toss. They're going to bat first. Uh, their team is unchanged from the one that won at Lords. Injury scares have gone away, so Marcus North is uh, well again and Ben Hilfenhaus is fit again. So they're going to try and continue in the same vein as at Lords. Pakistan, of course, had to make a change. No shy of Freedy. Uh, so Shoaib Malik is the replacement. Uh, number six in the batting order. And, of course, Salman Butt will lead from the front. He's the only batsman. He's the new captain. And he'll be hoping for another good game with the bat and a better game for his team as well. For the order. Off the mark as well. Low ball and driven down the ground by Simon Katic. Worked through the onside. Shouldn't be too surprised. I certainly cannot agree with this line. Respect whether they thought they had him out or not. He'll get lots of runs. That's a bit of a delivery. That's the line they want with bowling all day. Oh, that's close. Perhaps a bit high. Well, found the gap. Not a bad delivery, that. Uh, the best part of 40% uh, of runs in test matches. Go down to third man. Down to the third man. Boundary. Have a man there. Well bowled. That's close. That's very close. And here comes the finger. They decided to bowl straight. Who am I talking about? Don't bowl straight. That's gone. This is the problem for Simon Katic. He gets so far. It's 20 for one. Well, not interested this time. You can see the early shake of the head. Dissuade the umpire from raising the finger again. Has he hit that? No, says Ian Gold. And Watson is out now, LBW. Success for both Pakistan opening bowlers in the space of an over. It's definitely hitting the stumps. It's just whether he got a little tickle on it before it. Australia lose their second wicket, 20 for two. That's not far off either. A little bit of bat, maybe. Clark saying, no, I don't want to say not out. A couple of excellent LBW decisions. That's close, I tell you. Not close enough for Rudy. Dismissive shake of the head, 23 for two. Let's have another look at this. Oi, oi. Well, it just looked out, didn't it? And a dismissive shake of the head. For... That's how uh, poor he is against the short ball. Don't get it quite right. And he'll uh, smack it away through mid-wicket. It's quite going to make the boundary. But Ponting playing that with ease and plenty of time. all around it very full ball but this is really good bowling by the Pakistan bowlers the trio yeah reward for a good wicket look at that the nip back again we saw the first ball shape away nip away play and miss second ball a bit shorter play and miss from a cut this one straight at the stumps again some good rewards for attacking the stumps again nip back while ball Miss Cute. Ponting very quickly, making sure he gets off the strike. Well, he would have done, but for some sloppy fielding. Went for the quick single, got the overthrow. Oh, that's close enough to Carl Given. He was walking. Ricky Ponting knew that he was dead in front of the stumps. Arsene with a huge grin on his face. He's thrust that front pad down the pitch. He's uh, off balance here. It's hit him right in front of uh, middle stump. Would have hit leg stump. That finger came up ever so quickly. That would have been knocking leg stump out the ground. This is really good bowling from Mohamed Asif. He's been bowling those away swingers, those away seamers. That one's come the other way. And uh, Ricky Ponting. Nice shot. A little bit too full, only just too full from Mohamed Asif. That's been beautifully clipped away.
Good delivery. He always decided to give it as well. Michael Hussey failing to connect this one. And what? Possibly going down the leg side. It's missing the stumps. Umar Gul with a theatrical appeal convinced the umpire. Michael Hussey unfortunately has to walk off. That's a lovely shot. Straight back up the ground. There's a, a bit of a slope here. Up the Kirkstall Lane end, but that's a super shot. Well, he angled the bat there quite deliberately, kept it down. Rolls down the hill. And uh, second boundary of the over brings... Cut away for four. When you've got, this, got a side down, you need to be per... Oh, he's got him now. So it's vindicated, isn't it? First test wicket for Umar Amin. Marcus North nicks it through to the keeper, playing at a wide ball, little bit of move. around. There's so much help out there for the Seamers. Just to get enough deliveries in the right area, and you have a good chance of taking it. So here he is, Steve Smith, with uh, not a particularly good test match batting average, but he's only played one test prior to this. Job to do here. Oh, my goodness. Great take. Brilliant. Well, it's an interesting stroke. I'd say he plays in his own way. Oh, down the track and a whip through mid on. He's playing as though it's the last over in a 2020 game. Afternoon, everybody. Here we go. Afternoon session. More swing. Ball, first ball. Bit of inside edge, bit of pad, but the ball snuck through. Pace and swing and movement. First up after lunch. No loosener. Middle stump gone. Mohamed Amir has picked up his second of the innings. It's young Steve Smith goes for 10, 73 for 7. Oh, magnificent bowling. Goodness me, that's as good as you can get. It's pitch middle and off and hit off as Johnson looked to hit it through midway. Away from that angle, first ball hitting the off stump. The ball was uh, pitched on that middle and leg stump channel and what a delivery first up for Mitchell Johnson to handle. He obviously couldn't handle it. Gone for duck, but the breaking news, Mohamed Ar 45 catching on the leg side. Oh, inside edge, I think. Down to fine leg, so Hilfenhaus gets off strike. Almost... Good shot. Short and wide, got what it deserved. It's one of the few loose balls being bowled by the Pakistan bowlers today. There's the gap at third man. Oh, that's very close. The umpire is asking uh, the opinion of the TV replay umpire here I think the only thing that's going to save Hilfen House here that the fact that Cameron Akmal had to gather the ball high and move a long way to remove the bales yeah I think it's tight I think he might be just safe it just how long it takes from now look how long that takes to get the bales off it's tight oh I think he might be gone here Bob great piece of work from Cameron Akmal Nine wickets down, Australia. They won the toss and chose to bat here. The last thing they needed was a run out. But that's exactly what's happened to them. Great celebration. It's his name. And would you believe it, Australia are 80. That's the story then for the batsmen reaching double figures. But uh, the best partnership for the first wicket of just 20 runs. Yeah, well, they're the good uh, figures for the bow. Muhammad Amir bowled beautifully, three for 20. So all the Pakistan bowlers did. Muhammad Azif, three for 30. Umar Gull with two for 16. Umar Amin, his first test wicket. The old game breaker with a couple of overs. Break the partnership. To... Full toss, but what it deserved. bit too short not the quickest of pitches 
there to get your boundaries. That's four. Put a bit more bat on that one. Well, it's one thing to be bowling a fullest length. It's one thing or a completely different thing to be consistently over pitching. At this level. That's beautiful. That is superbly well timed. That's a brilliant shot. Just a flick through mid on for four. He gets a great wrist up there. Nobody moved. That's beautiful piece of timing from Salman Bhatt. 50 comes up for Pakistan, courtesy that delightful drive. That's beautifully played. In com complete control was Salman Bhatt. Once again, the secret of that success was... There was another one down the third man. It's amazing when it goes for you and it's your day, the nicks go wider, the slips, everything seems to run your way. Played it down away from anyone. Two slips in a gully to beat and he beat them. Nicely timed again, racing away through the covers. Damn power field or not, that's going for four. Well, we may have had a... Wide mid on, away for four again. Australia's bowlers all over the place. Put down, just about carried back to the bowler. Nothing going Australia's way at all. Hilford House in a heap in the middle of the pitch. Half a leading edge from Salman Butt, looking to turn this on the leg side. Difficult when they come back at you like that. But... That's all over. Talk about a full length, and Hilfenhaus delivers it. Get all the time, but he's got this to swing. Look at this come back into the left-hander. Hitting uh, middle and leg. He's got it up there, got it through the gate, and disturbed Salman Butt's stumps. He's gone for 45. Pakistan, 80 for one. On the gap, down the third man. I'm sure this is not what Ricky Ponting would have spoke. There we go again. That's Pakistan into the lead. Two boundaries in this over, both of them coming in the third man region. Well played. That was well timed. It's all downhill from there. May not quite make it. Look, Bollinger. The man doing the chasing. I don't think that touched anything. We wait on the umpire. Yes, it is all buys. Brings up the hundred for Pakistan. Again, down the third man. Well, a few words being passed again. I don't think that touched anything either. Buys again, signaled by Rudy Kurtzen. It's gone for four off the bat on this occasion. So a good hit over that for Pakistan. 11 runs coming from it. There are one. Then you get the overcompensation from the bowler. Too close to leg stump this time. Becomes an easy two, pushed away. But it's Shane Watson. Oh, that's close. Close enough for Ian Gould to put the finger up straight away. So forget the spinner. It's taken Shane Watson three deliveries. Late and it was a foolish sort of length. Just nip back a little bit. Oh, that looks absolutely plumb. We call Salmon Trout. Out. Plumb. Halfway up middle stump. Imran Farat has gone for a well compiled 43. These two young batsmen made their 
debuts at uh, Lords in the last match. Gap at extra cover. And Azar has found it. Don't go away to the boundary. Two more to his total. Edged and well caught by Tim Payne. Shane Watson again getting the ball to swing. Late in its path. So when now we know that he's a problem with that channel. That's not the first time he's been picked behind the stumps. Good delivery from Watson. Teasing and testing Azar Ali around that off-stump line, and he falters and falls for 30. 140 for three. Well, we've seen it before from Umar Akmal. He'll take the uh, attack straight to the slow bowler. Half stopped in the gully. Marcus North uh, completing the fielding. Oh, that's a magnificent shot. On his tiptoes, off the back foot, behind square. Super. Well, it's a no ball. He skied it to mid off where uh, Katic will take the catch and uh, close to a run out. So uh, I don't know what bouncing beans Umar Akmal had for breakfast, but they're certainly working. Bob, what is going on? What is going on here? What a first over. It's been five deliveries. This is here's the front foot, and wow. I'm not sure that's a no ball or not. It's been called. Have a look at this for a shot. It's unbelievable. Now, there's just not enough time for people out there to think the batsman, oh, he's heard the call, and that's why he's had a go at that. There's just not enough time for that. He had premeditated that shot that he's going to have a go. A couple of hours of Umar Akmal. Uh, clipped over square leg should be just about cut off no can't do it Mitchell Johnson not joining the yeah! fine delivery it's good enough at last Johnson gets it right and Umar Akma will be disappointed dismissed to a defensive shot that's not usual for him but what is usual is that Tim Payne makes no mistake behind the stump well, the wicket taker takes a wicket, and once again, it's what we spoke about. A couple of good balls in a row. And then a foolish length, very full regulation catch to Tim Payne. Well done, Mitchell Johnson. Australia needed that wicket. Maybe it's a couple of overs. It's so cold out there to get into it. The dangerous Umar akmal has gone for 21. Both ends, please. That'll be four. Easy pickings out. Another one, two straight on the pads and not right from Ben Hilfenhaus. Pakistan 170 the outfield good shot again beautifully controlled this will go for four so many good things to like about Umar Amin he's well balanced when he's striking the ball big gap through the covers this will go for four as well nicely timed racing away across the square and the outfield he's looked special today Oh, balls in the air! My word, what an extraordinary dismissal! Absolutely unbelievable. Ducking under the bouncer, leaving the bat up like a periscope, and it's cannoned off and gone to that short square leg. And I can't believe that Hilfenhaus and Ponting had got that planned. Unfortunate. Maybe that fielder was there for that periscope. But whatever the reason for that fielder, it really did work in the end, and his visual comes to an end. Good knock from Umar Amin, gutsy 25, 195 for five. No third man. I heard you give a statistic earlier on, Bob, that 40% of test match runs come in that region. Troy Malik certainly looks good when he, he's at the crease. I think Pakistan may say that he doesn't. Runs again. Well, I have to say, Mikey, Doug Bollinger's looked anything but a test match bowler on the white line there, belongs to the umpire. Too short.
Well, I'm afraid this is rubbish from Doug Bollinger. Dropped. Two men in the gully. Plays specifically for that. Dropped by Hussey. 200 batsmen. So far. What a way to start after lunch. Cameron Atmal punching it square of the wicket. What did it carry? Well, it seems so. Cameron Atmal is on his way. Marcus North taking the catch at slip. I just wondered whether it was going to carry. I bet North was willing the ball to come into his hands as well. So Atmal just fishing for this outside the off stump on the back foot, angled back. Straight in. Good catch from Marcus North. He had to stay low and hope and pray that the ball would carry to him, which it did. Watson gets his third wicket. First over after lunch. Cameron Atmal has gone for 15. Pakistan, two to just over 200 runs. Two slips and Nagoli await. Oh, that is very, very straight. And he's gone. Another wicket for Shane Watson. Watson on a hat-trick, and he's doing exactly the right thing now. Pitching the ball up, getting a little bit of swing. That one's come back at Mohamed Amir, who's padded up to a ball that was probably too straight anyway. Look at it come back, and uh, he's got a couple of pads on it. It may have been a touch high, but so often you see... Oh, it's way wide of off stump. It looked, I must admit, in real time as though that was going to come back and hit the stumps Watson gets two in two Mohamed Amir goes first ball and they're 222 for seven ball them there we go another five wicket haul for Shane Watson well well bowl Shane Watson he's done exactly what you should be doing here at uh, Headingley in these conditions he's kept the ball up he's just wobbled it around enough and that one has crept through goals defense is a very full ball this one has swung back it's got a bit of inside edge and a bit of pad but we've seen the full ball work wonders for bowlers over the last day and a half and it's continuing to do so five for watson none for goal pakistan 224 for eight runs for danish area off the mark with a little flick off his legs More action here, I think that was perilously close. That's gone fine, that will go all the way, I think. Doug Bollinger chases and does well. Malik gets the two that he's looking for, though. Yeah, that's a great stop from Bollinger. It's gone a long way up, but not far enough. That's out, I would think. Tim Payne takes a catch. Shane Watson, six. Well, I'll show Malik looking to get a boundary up looking to hit it straight down the ground giving pain a very comfortable catch under that sky nicely done well done Shane Watson you've got six for now Malik get out for 26 Pakistan's innings are nearly up 234 for nine as big gets over mid on for four meaty blow from Mohamed Asif Lead now 160, it's 248 for nine. So far. Nicely played by Canaria, stylishly done in fact. He'll come back for the second, he should. Carriage gets to the ball, but not before Canaria has come back for the second. And clears mid on for four. The action continues from this pair. Canaria looks to be in the mood to take on the Aussies. 11 now. Same stuff. Catches the call, mid off. Chance with a run out, I think he's got it. I think Canaria is coming back, giving Fielder another chance. It adds the keepers in. This time the ball misses the stumps. Referral is called. Plenty of errors, comedy of errors. What's he's out anyway at the first one, so that's it. Australia get their chance to bat. That was hilarious. What was going on out there? Unbelievable. <laughs> They've got a lead of 170. Australia going to get their second chance to bat. Unbelievable. Even Asif <laughs> lets a smile off. Ricky Ponting found it funny as well. 
What a way to end the innings. And uh, Pakistan fighting it out quite nicely in the end. Oh, sorry, Rami. Sorry, viewers. I've got tears in my eyes. I can't read here. Uh, Shane Watson, the pick of the ball of six for 33. The rest of the guys chipping in. Ben Hill for with two. Mitchell Johnson with one. Okay, that was hilarious. I haven't seen anything funny like that for a long time. Well, maybe two full second ball of the over. Very nice shot from uh, Simon Katic. Boundary gets him off the mark. Just pushed away nicely as well. Threw mid off. Same line as the boundary. Three this time. Yeah, if you do the maths, that well, it was an eight. Now, I'm not sure it quite carried. If it did, it was only just uh, above grass height. Umar Akmal, the man uh, at second slip there. Thickish outside edge. And just dropping in front. So it would have been taken, if it had been taken clean, it would have been taken right on the half volley. You don't really get a chance. That's sweet. That's through extra cover. No one there to cut it off. Watson is uh, off the mark. That has got him behind his legs. So absolutely no doubt with that. The left. A good view of the stumps. First, all three. And then the exposed leg stump when he moves across. Absolutely uh, fantastic bowling from Mohamed. Amir, maturity well beyond his years. Katic misses out on a 50 for the first time for 10 tests. That's through the gap at uh, extra cover, hit with the huge power too. Watson plays his favourite shot again. From Watson coming forward and cutting almost off the front foot. Yeah, good shot. Bal nice shot from Watson in front of square. There's a man out there who can't get it. Beautifully timed from Shane Watson. Good running gets two. Good placement, perhaps more than good running, running from Ponting. You can add another one to that to shot plot. Square cover off the back foot. Compactly played. I say, once again, Umar Amin does the job. I think it's a lot different sitting here and out there in the park. Salman Butt was sensing a kill here through Umar Akmal and once again he clearly surprises everyone. Inside edge, Watson trying to force the issue, playing on. Bringing a lot of smiles on the faces of the Pakistani operators out there, including the captain. He's absolutely gutted. Gone for 24, Shane Watson, Australia, 55 for two. Single is on. Michael Clark will be on strike for the next over again. It's 57 for two. A throw to slip cordon. Thick outside edge. That's well timed. Got right up on his toes, Michael Clark. Goes all the way. Goal from the Kirks to lane end. Two slips of gully, short extra cover. Catching deep point. Well, he missed on the first occasion, Ricky Ponting, but he won't miss those served up so easily twice. That's the one, but there's no third man in it. So four gifted runs. For Ricky Ponting, he goes to 12,000 test match runs. Full stroke played nicely. All along the floor, backward square leg. Too short, and Ponting rocking under the back foot. Dispatches that through wide mid off for four. Really was well struck, read the lip. He's got it now from the misfield. Ponting scampering through. 
2.50, his 52nd half century in Test match cricket. First half century of this shot from Clark. That really is that, uh, is going to go up the hill and will go all the way for four. Well, that's pulled away ever so easily. There's no one at deep square leg. Up in the air for a while, but it's very quickly crossed that boundary. Yeah, and eventually, if he weathered the storm as the batsman, the scoring opportunity comes. So, Michael Clark has been beaten twice outside the off stump. The adjustment from... Good pull stroke from Ponting. All along the ground. Apart from bowling the occasional short... Oh, it was a difficult ball for Michael Clark, the first for the day for him, and he's off the mark straight away. Uh, loose shot from Ricky Ponting. This is the result that Pakistan were requiring and needing. It's come early in the day. Ricky Ponting is gone. Exactly what Pakistan wanted, the dangerous Ricky Ponting. Gone, caught behind. I think Ricky Ponting was expecting to swing and just went on with the arm. A bit loose. It was a big shot from Ricky Ponting. Went for the big drive. And comfortably taken by Cameron Akmal behind the stumps. It's that man, Muhammad Amir, again. Making life difficult for the batsman. Ricky Ponting gone for a well-compiled 66. Australia, 144 for three. Good cricket from uh, both the batsmen. Well played shot for one. 150 comes up for Australia. I've seen in this uh, probably a fraction high, but give him the benefit of the doubt. Mike Hussey just runs one away, an element of luck you need when you first get to the wicket. A little bit of an outside edge. Hussey is good in uh, doing that, rotating the strike, getting to the other end. Catch and taken, well taken by Umar Akmal. It has been a good day's morning so far for Pakistan. The ball seemed to have just stopped in the air while travelling to the second slip fielder. Well, Muhammad Amir with his banana chewing gum does the trick for Pakistan again. A good catch from Akmal. Mike Hussey is a big wicket. He can hang around for a long time. That's a big wicket for Pakistan. Mike Hussey gone for eight. One. Oh, wide of the second slip. Through that gap, four runs. Mohamed Asif can't believe it. He looks to the heavens. 49 overs. He's dragged it on. He's got another one. The collapse continues. Three wickets have gone down in just 42 minutes this morning. Marcus North, the latest victim. He's gone for a duck. Australia, five down, and they're still six runs behind. Mohamed Asif isn't taking any wickets, but he's helping Mohamed Amir by the fact that he isn't giving any runs away. So they are looking to score runs. None is coming inside edge. He was looking to punch that through the offside. Marcus North, but a bit of movement found the inside edge. Amir is on fire. Marcus North goes for zero. Tim Payne off the mark. And that is 50 for Michael Clark. Just the second 50s now. It's an outstanding shot. Nothing more than a push drive. Payne has middled that. Played it uh, very conservatively. Short wide four. It's 195 for five. Looking shot, got it through. Not the best bit of fielding you'll get from your captain. Another boundary brings up the 200 for Australia. That's four. That's a very good shot. I hope uh, everyone heard. That'll do it. Beautiful out swinger. 
That's the breakthrough that the Pakistanis were after. Michael Clark goes. Is anybody going to get 100 in this test match? It doesn't look like it. 217 for six. The Australians lead by just 47. Well, it's Mohamed Asif who does the trick. He gets rid of the very dangerous Michael Clark. Good catch from Cameron Akmal. He was the go-to man, Mohamed Asif. Really has by well. He deserved a wicket. Michael Clark played beautifully. That's a big blow for Australia. Michael Clark on for very well compiled 77. Really did play. He's facing his first ball from Mohamed Asif. Can the deep point cut this off? No. Good effort. Has sailed over the top of uh, cover. What a pleasing shot that is. It's great to see young cricketers with so much confidence. Oh, good shot. Good use of the feet. Steve Smith, high and well over mid-off. Gets his first boundary. Extra cover. Well, Payne hangs his head because he knows that that was short enough and wide enough to dispatch to the boundary. He may have played a fraction earlier. Delivery from Danish Kaneria. But it bounced, it spun, and perhaps that's the reason why Tim Payne just managed to hit it straight to the mat, extra cover. He was, it spun away from him, so it was a bit wide of his body. Didn't have the control, but believe me. He will rule that for a long time, Tim Payne. He was received much better deliveries than that. Gone for 33, though. 246 for seven. Good shot. Oh, missed by Mohamed Amir, I think. Oh, that's Mohamed Asif, sorry. Ball down the third man. Sigh of relief from Mitchell Johnson, who is off his pair now. Try and come back for two. Getting very animated and very excitable, excited out there. The, the... Well away in front of square from uh, Steve Smith. He played that as if he really, really meant it. And uh, it's a real clunking shot again from Steve Smith. Sticking to his motto that if it's up there, he'll go for it. If it's streaky this time, it was full and it was the inside edge that got it down to long leg just for a single. Wow, is that yes, the finger is on its way up. So the disappointments from earlier in the over are now completely forgotten as Mohamed Asif strikes. Mitchell Jones pitched up delivery is just coming a little bit. Beating the inside edge of the bat. Pitches on leg stump, would probably have hit leg stump. Australia now eight down. So Mitchell Johnson going for 12. Mohamed Asif has struck. It's 283 for eight. Point. Ben Hilfenhaus has scored a 50 at Lords. He's no rabbit with the bat. Good heave over mid off. This is good counter punching from Hilfenhaus and now Steve Smith. Smith on 32. Four boundaries. Edge earns him four. Plays it perfectly. Hilfenhaus has started to be a bit of a nuisance once again for Pakistan. They never give up, these Aussies. This time, cracking drive for four. Nothing can stop him. Well, he's supposed to edge it because Salman Bird had just strengthened the slip cordon, and what he does, he's going to stop himself from playing those shots. Pressure on Amir, pressure on Salman Bird. The alarm bells will be ringing.
Goes big over mid wicket for four. Wow, what a strike. Magnificent from Smith. Umar Gul gave uh, Steve Smith a mouthful after the previous. Calling the ball and setting field where the ball has gone. Down the track. And that's put away nicely for four. Smith with a cracking drive through the offside. Perfect counter-attack from the Australians. They've got Pakistanis on the... Edge and taken. It worked for Salman, but... Umar Akmal with a nice catch. Low down in first slip. All happened very quietly in the end. Nice loopy leg spinner from Canaria doing a fair bit of damage. And Ben Hilfenhaus will be thinking, oh, why didn't I smash this? Why have I played defensively? But it's a good ball from Canaria. 320 for nine. Uh, Hilfenhaus gone for 17. With a cracking sweep shot. Maiden test 50. And what a way to bring it up. It has been a gutsy knock. Showing character, will to fight, and staying till the end, and producing the goods just when Australia wanted it. Spectacular. Not take one. Once again, nicely struck drive. This is great cricket from Smith. He's young and exciting, and seems to read the game really well. But is, it escapes the man at mid on for four. Down the track. That's gone for six. Magnificent six. Great use of the feet and great timing from Smith. He had to miss the man at long off, which he did quite easily. What a strike from Smith. Two off two. Lead now 177. Well, the first six was into the crowd, the second one... Over. It's Umar Gol who's given Pakistan a ray of hope in the end. They need 180 runs to win and square the series. But the moment and the last couple of hours clearly belonging to this young talent from Australia. Steve Smith with the belligerent innings. He's got ticker, he's got talent, he's gutsy and what a knock. Looking for the gap on the leg side, but only dragging it into middle and off, off the bottom edge. But the crowd stands to Steve Smith. Tremendous entertainment, tremendous skill, great enthusiasm. Well, what a charge from Smith, and it meet back in this quite seriously. Payne batted well for his 33. Michael Clark resolutely for his 77. Ricky Ponting left early in the first hour for 66 but the day clearly belonging to young smith who paralyzed pakistan with his big hitting sensible batting mohammed amir deserved a five wicket haul but he ended up with the four for 86 mohammed asif the two for 83 umar gul was very expensive but finally broke the 10th wicket partnership the cover drive this will be four and this will hearten all of Pakistan. Imran Farah gets the innings going. Way down to third man. The vacant third man area. Don't need to use the word vacant, Ramiz. It's always vacant, isn't it? Put it down at first slip. It came quickly to him, high to his right. But it should have been taken. Even though it were deep in first slip, had a good look at it but not near it second time around. The ball took off, outside edge, healthy one, and Watson grassing it. Of pure excellence. Majestic Royal from uh, Imran Farad. Really was a graceful drive. It's a really good ball from Hilfen House, and, but the captain has gone. Michael Clark takes a, a comfortable catch there at slip be an in-swinger and he was in two minds there on the walk cleanly taken by by Michael Clark and so Australia are off and running it's the captain who's dismissed gone for 30 in Pakistan 27 for one
So as a rally off the mark. Might have been the slow delivery, not as well directed as he would have liked, though Ben Hilfenhaus. Couple of runs bring up the 50 for Pakistan. Done. That pad's been... Well, the runs continue to flow. This uh, inconsistency from Mitchell Johnson is proving costly. It... it seems to be the trend, I'm afraid, for, for Mitchell Johnson. He started the over with a... a oh, it was well bowled. And there's a bit of bounce. Oh, dear. Oh dear. If, uh, Ricky Ponting's thinking about that decision made on Wednesday morning. Well, this will be uh, four more towards the target for Pakistan. What's... He's been put under a lot of pressure by Ricky Pont, left arm fast. And every time he's been uh, on top of the act. Beautifully done through the offside. He has really played well through that area of cover and cover point. Magnificent strike. Goes for the cut shot, finds the gap, gets a four, gets to his 50 as well. Tremendous batting under pressure. Pakistan needed a solid start and a contribution from the rope. Now, well, he's provided Pakistan exactly with that. Good. That's going to race away for four. Pakistan getting closer and closer. Only 62 required now for victory. Oh. Every shot now greeted with a huge roar from the Pakistan contingent in the crowd. Walker from Bollinger. Really good. Well, he's deserved that because he has uh, tried his heart out. A foolish ball. Just played over the top of it. Barrett just a little bit late on it, probably beating for a bit of pace. 88, nearly 88 mile an hour that delivery. Pakistan lose their second wicket. Have we got a twist in this test match? 137 for two, Pakistan. Jin gone, so two wickets fall in quick succession. Okay. Umar Amin couldn't get his bat out of the way. It's a regulation catch for Tim Payne. Straight to the comfortable hands of Tim Payne behind the stumps, and Australia get their third wicket. I'm sure Umar Akmal, their big player, comes in now. I'm sure there's a few nerves in the Pakistan dressing room now at the moment. We're still 43. And that'll be a boundary. And that's his first uh, Test 50. He and Pakistan will be hoping it's the first of many. And. Uh, leading towards three figures as well at times. There won't be an opportunity for him to get... A good comeback by uh, Doug Bollinger after that appalling uh, full toss. He bowls a real beauty, and Azar Ali's on his way. Is there another twist in the tail? Pakistan needs 34 still. You never can tell. Well, this is a good start by Australia. They needed to take an early wicket. Yes, six runs have been scored, but... They wouldn't mind getting a wicket every six runs. Doug Bollinger strikes again. Hasn't been having a happy time of it, but of late, things have gone his way. Good knock, though, by Azar Ali. It's 146 for four. Streaky, but it's a boundary for Pakistan. They now need just 30. To celebrate, and Umar Akmal goes. Oh, those uh, knees will be really wobbling in the Pakistan dressing room now. Two down this morning. 150 for five. Well, Umar Akmal has played exactly the way Ricky Ponted wanted him to play. He has not played his natural game. He has gone out there looking just to block each delivery. Not too sure where he expected the runs to come from. Perhaps he thought he would get a few full tosses. That's not his natural game, but that's his natural walk back. It's 150 for five. Shoaib Malik off the mark. Take 
again. And they're back for three. And Australia on top. Edge and well, it's gone past the second slip. Michael Clark with a full flesh dive. How close was he to the ball? But 100 out of 100 for trying. He'll pick a wick, couple of runs there. Good flick shot from Shred Malik. Bollinger with a dive. A little untidy. I'm sure that question will be asked upstairs whether there is a boundary or whether... Shreb Malik has played one straight down the throat of the fielder. It's Marcus North who has picked up another wicket and Australia... Not that show of Malik and what a catch. Great technique. Let the ball come. Went with it. And it just stuck. Super catch. Show of Malik could not believe it. Is there another twist? Bowls to come. Show Malik gone for 10. It's 161 for 6. A precious boundary being struck here. Only 15 required now. Suit them. A slice. Did the job. So 10 more required now. Kamran Akmal is leading them home. It does. Beautifully crafted back foot shot from Kamran Akmal. He's looking good under pressure now. 174 for six. Kamran Akmal feels that the ball has touched the ground. It's Michael Hussey who is confirming to the umpire that it's a clean take. First angle, cut shot. And I think it kisses the ground, does it? It's too blurry really to uh, make a firm call on this he would have picked it up so well, i'm not sure about that rudy but he was 100 percent sure he caught that and as a fielder it'd be nice if you know if all cricket the bats would say did you catch it mate he says yes now they go unfortunately here with the evidence that uh, the benefit of the doubt has gone to the batsman but uh, i think that was a clear catch from me so i think mike hussey got his fingers under and it is held Wicket falls, Michael Hussey with a breathtaking catch. Kamran Akmal has to leave. This is unbelievable stuff. Australia have not given up the hope of dismantling Pakistan. Maybe a hat-trick, who knows? <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Great catch from Mike Hussey. Really did go well. Didn't go too hard. Let it come to him. Cameron Akmal can't believe it. He says, why didn't that go in the gap? Mitchell Johnson's happy. Well, scores are still level. Surely there's no more twist yet. Surely. A hat-trick will make it interesting, Ramiz. Get down. That's it. Win for Pakistan. They richly deserve this. The fans can relax. The team can relax. It was a hard-fought struggle for them, but in the end, what a feeling. Winning against Australia after being at the receiving end for almost five years. In fact, they last beat Australia in 1995. Yeah, congratulations to Pakistan. It's their first test win over Australia since 1995. It's been a long time, 15 years. From a thin-looking batting side, in the end, they got over the line, just over the line, 180 for seven. They fought hard. Dougie Bollinger and Ben Hilfenhaus with three each. Mitchell Johnson with one late wicket there. They all fought hard. They found their rhythm that right at the end, probably a little bit too late. But uh, Shane Watson couldn't do it again this time like he did in the last first innings here in the first test. Steve Smith with nothing. But uh, a great test match all in all. They fought hard. They never gave up Australia. But Pakistan were just too good. So that is the story of this Headingley Test match. It'll be remembered by Pakistan for a very long time because they were able to beat Australia after 1995. And Australia in big trouble after day one when they were bowled out for 88. Couldn't recover in this Test match, even though they fought hard in the second innings. But Pakistan, in the end, the victorious. 180 for seven. They won by three wickets and tied the series 1-1. This has been a Fox Sports.